It is Black Friday. Really just a goof off day. My in the shop just tinkering around in between getting Christmas decorations down for Heather and having out the kids and all that good stuff. So a major fabrication day, but got a few things I want to show you. I think those panels I made for the C10 a while back. I don't even know where they're at. I think I'm gonna mount those in there. So I've always just had them clicked in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh nut certs in the grill of the truck so I can at least mount those in there and they can ride around on the truck until I figure out what I'm going to do to finish them but got something in the mail uh, the other day I wanted to show you it's pretty cool check that bad boy out it's just one of those uh, Alcatara suede steering wheels that you can find online um, I see them on there I've always kind of wanted one maybe for the goose or uh, the bibster it's 35 bucks I figured hell why not order one and just check it out and uh, it's super nice man it's feels real good the offset is good the diameter is good I mean it's just a good feeling steering wheel and I mean for 35 bucks you can't beat that this one's blue blue stitching and then it's got the blue top uh, center ring up here I think you can get them all kinds of different colors. I believe I got this thing on eBay. Anyway, pretty cool. Figured I'd show it to you guys. Main reason for putting these back in is just whether they're not bouncing around the shop. Um, it actually looks okay for now. Uh, I couldn't run them run them on the truck before the cleat goes in there because the hood wouldn't shut. So I bolted them in there. I've only got one on each side. What I'm gonna do though, this panel here will actually roll up like this and cover all this piece in here, and it'll be like one continuous piece, maybe with some rivets along the bottom. Uh, these quarter 20 button heads uh, bolts match the steering wheel and so it kind of carries that theme throughout the truck what I'll do is I'll put a bunch of these in here I'll probably add three or four more evenly spaced on both sides and then once they go in up here there'll also be button head bolts up here too so it'll kind of all fit made it look like it came from the factory like that everything will match like I said and it'll continue throughout the truck you guys got to remember that sometimes these things 
it's a creative process. It's not something that you're just gonna do the first shot. You gotta kinda do one piece, stand back, look at it, ride around with it for a while, and the next piece will come to you. Put that piece in there, stand back, look at it. It's a process. Uh, don't expect to get it right the first time, and uh, don't give up when it's not done the first time. Just roll with it. Also got to show you, put me a radio on the truck. Nothing fancy, but at least I got some tunes in there now. Hope you guys had a good day. I know I had a pretty good day. I felt productive. I like those kind of days. I know I get a lot of questions on the steering wheel, uh, so I'll put some links in the description where I uh, where I got that at. And then uh, any of the tools I use in this video, I always get questions about the tools I use. I've probably done a Friday video on every tool I've used in this video. I'm sure I have. I'll also link those videos in the description too, like the nut cert and all that stuff. Guess that's it for me. Go do work, son.